In my organization, most phone numbers were managed via Excel spreadsheets. This meant breaking out the document every time we couldn't remember a phone number to dial. Cisco, however, has the ability to create a directory in the phone. This makes it easy for the user to browse a hierarchical, link-based structure to find the phone number that they want to call. Hello, this is Josie. How may I help you? Hi, Josie. This is Papa, just running a test. Oh. All right, I'll talk to you later. Easy, right? Well, not so much. This structure is actually written in an XML document, which is easy to manage if you have a few phones, a little bit more complicated for a living directory with many phones. But, what if we could make an application that queried the call manager for the phone number and automatically generated a hierarchical structure? That makes it easy to manage, right? Well, yes it does for the user, but getting that created it's a little bit more complicated. It's said that for every hour worth of coding or automating, you save several seconds worth of labor. With that in mind, in this video series, let me be your guide in standing up your own dynamic phone directory. During this odyssey, we will jump into setting up PHP on a Windows 2012 server. We'll learn a little bit about Axel, Cisco's administrative XML language, SOAP, and how to use a little of it in PHP and even PowerShell. We'll even be using Excel to stage changes we want to make in our own call manager. In a nutshell, DPD parses out the display ASCII attribute of a phone line using the spaces in it to create a directory. After it's parsed out, it groups all of the display ASCII text up to the next space together to create a folder. Anything without a space in it it adds to the top of the list as a phone number you can dial. The URLs direct you to the same PHP file with the search text to create a recursive search till you ultimately get a phone number you want to dial. To make this directory, you don't really need to worry about writing too much code. We've already got that built out. But you will need to do a few things before you can go into full-scale production with it. First, we'll need to build a web server with PHP on it. Then we'll get the files copied over to it. After that, we'll have to do a little bit of coding to change the variables pointing your script to the call manager. After we validate that the directory will work, we'll need to get a few test phones configured to use the directory. Then we'll push the directory to all phones within the call manager. Our dynamic phone directory relies on parsing out the display ASCII of the phone line to build out the directory using spaces in it. So we'll need to format the line text of every phone within our call manager to accommodate this. And I'll show you somewhat of an easy way to do it. My virtual web server is built out and waiting to be configured, so let's get started. 